Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Melanie from Orange Umbrella Co. here. I have a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, it's still kind of in regards to new releases, but over the last month or so, we have been kind of updating our kits um, minimally for the uh, 2023 academic year planners that were coming out. So we've been kind of doing, you know, each kit will have a slight different change. And I thought now that we are about done wrapping those changes up that I would do a video going over each of the changes in one video in case you haven't really seen our new release videos lately or you're not familiar with our shop and just kind of want to know why one thing might look different from the other. So I'm filming this impromptu. My nails are not done. I have a little nasty looking boo-boo that I don't want you guys to have to look at. So if we can look past that, we're going to move on. So um, the first section I want to go over is the changes that we've made in our weekly kit. So just kind of a disclaimer, I have a whole bunch of different kits scattered all over my workbench to show you. Some of these have already released, some of them have not, so you'll get like a little forward sneak peek. Um, so there is going to be a lot of art happening in here, uh, but I think this will be the best way to kind of go about it without doing a full length like hour long new release video so in our weekly kit the first sheet that's available is a full box sheet this is the old format so it had eight full back boxes on it and i believe they were 1.9 inches tall so we did change those up and we now have nine full boxes on a sheet one of which is a functional full box for you to use, you know, to write notes, etc. Um, and we shrunk the size down. So I probably should get a ruler out because I feel like we might be doing this a little bit this video. So these are now, let's see, about one and three quarters inches high, just slightly over. And these, okay, these were over two, in, <clears throat> excuse me, two inches high. So they got a little shorter. They stayed the exact same width, perfect for your 1.5 inch wide columns. And you guys know me, I use a planner with about two inch wide columns. So yeah, that's what we did. Just a little bit shorter to give you a little bit more real estate. So let's see how I can keep these guys organized. The next thing we did was we changed the script sheet. So this is the old script sheet. It was sheet 009 in the listing. It had one word in black and one word in a color palette or color from the color palette for the kit. We did decide to switch to an all black script sheet. This is inside of all of the listings, but it is available for purchase individually. It's sheet um, S285. So we decided to do this because just a lot of the softer color palettes were making those script words look just really washed out. So that is the second change. And the next change I'm going to be going over is our sidebar. So again, this is the old sheet and this is a new sheet. You can see that the boxes got significantly shorter. You can now stack the sidebar and use all four pieces in most of your um, vertical planners. So the width again is still the same, but we did change that up. In addition to that, we did kind of change how the full box situation is done. So let me bring this. This is from the same kit. This is nine different options of your full box. And as long as we have enough art that is full box worthy, we will be putting a different full box on the sidebar sheet and on the mini kit sheet to give you guys more options to have different full boxes in your kits. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Next up, we have the ombre checklist. These were the same size as the full boxes and we just shrunk them down to be the same size as the new full boxes. So again, same width, just a slightly shorter height. 
And then the next thing we did was a doodle icon sheet. So there wasn't one of these prior, so there's nothing to compare it to, but this is what we did for that show. That is also a new addition. Again, there wasn't one of those previously to compare to. Okay, next big change that we did had to do with our deco journaling sheets. We have been blown away at how successful these have been and I, I love using them. I use them every single week. Um, there were a couple pieces on there that were hard for me to use. So once I started talking to some customers and some of the PR girls, we decided that a reformat would be a great time to do that with um, the mid-year reformat. That sentence did not make sense. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go over the changes pretty quickly. So these corner pieces are still the same. There is still a full box. This full box also shrunk down. You can see this one is slightly taller. This little washi strip went to the top of the page to make it a little easier for those 1.5 inch wide column planners to add that in without that piece hanging over where it shouldn't be. Um, we got rid of the little teardrops. We do offer those in our vertical priority listings kit. There's a functional sheet in there that has tons of eye drops. So um, those are gone. We kept the little graph circles. We did keep one circle and sized it down, but we did get rid of both of the squares. So that then gave us more room for these um, offset arrows. I know you guys are loving these. Those are also available for purchase inside our shop in a bazillion different colorways. And we added a couple new arrows, sized down the big arrow, and then added a couple more of the watercolor torn paper strips. So I am loving this change. This is available. I think this was the first kit we did it for, which is 155, and I'm so excited to get into those and start using them. Okay, let's see. Next up, this is for the TPC kit. So if you're not familiar with the TPC Nation kit, it is a kit that um, Destiny from Penny Pages and Caitlin from the Planner Collaborative did together. And it's a 1.5 inch wide column, kind of a vertical spread. They have a whole bunch of different options, including the hybrid, etc. But the boxes are um, shorter than a standard 1.5 inch. So you have, you know, several different sections that you can break your day up into. So the full boxes, even the new sheets that we're doing, the full boxes are too tall. So this is an almost completely square 1.5 inch wide and tall full box. So I was super excited when these got requested because once I did them, I was like, these might be perfect for me. So if you guys know my planning style, you know I love to use full boxes. They like really kind of showcase, you know, art and just give you something extra to look at. But I used to not even be able to lay full boxes down until later in the week, depending on where I had room. So like this week, for example, I only had room for two of them. But now that I have these TPC boxes that I can pull from in the TPC Nation kit, I can put them down ahead of time in my planning, just knowing, okay, Monday is a super heavy design work day, so I'm not necessarily gonna be able to put a full box there. But generally the other stuff backs up on um, Tuesday, so I spent a lot of time doing more of the admin and social media stuff. So I was able to kind of put a full box in that design workspace. And it's just, they're shorter, so they take up less real estate. You guys know how important all of the lines are to me. I wanna use my planner to the max. So that is super exciting. So if you like full boxes, but you trim them down, or they're just a little too big for you, this is a great option. So again, this is in the TPC listing. Um, you can search 031031 and then type in kit and it will pull up all the TPC listings and you can pull your full boxes out of there. So a lesson, don't be afraid to shop outside of your listing. Okay, so the last change for the regular weekly kit is this eight and a half by 11 washi. So I actually got to use this last week with this Fiesta kit. So this washi is long enough to spread across an eight and a half by 11 page. There's a disclaimer in the listing, just double check your planner, but it works great here. Again, eight and a half by 11 page. So it's just short enough where it gives you kind of your margins there. Um, so that is super exciting for those of us that use 
larger planners. So there's not another one of those to show you because it did not exist before, but that is what that looks like. It's got two, four of the thicker strips of washi and then four of the skinnier strips of washi for that. Okay, so the next change we made, just a super simple one in our passion planner weekly listing. So these were the date covers before. You had Monday start with time, Monday start without, Sunday start with time, and Sunday start without. So obviously there were certain ones that sold better than others. And due to how many were up on a sheet, we just, anyway, we just ended up with like a lot of extra stock of these. And so in order to combat that, we did a blank strip with the script wording on there. And then we have a timed one and a blank one so that you can now just put your scripts on top of the strip and make it either a Monday start or a Sunday start. The only thing that did reduce is these labels here, but those are also available to purchase in other listings as well. So that is that quick change and we are wrapping it up. We have just a couple more things to go over. So there are a lot of changes for the monthlies, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over those in the 157 new release video that will be coming out in a couple of days because those are all from one kit. And I don't wanna bore you guys with making you watch the same kit shown twice. So if you're interested in seeing what the monthly revamps look like, stay tuned for that. So the next thing I wanna go over is the mini kit. So this is the previous mini kit layout. Sorry about the background noise. It's so nice here, I have to have the doors open. Um, so this is sheet one and sheet two. So you've got your full box and got appointment labels on both of them, skinny labels, two-tone labels, decorative boxes, your scripts, a weekend banner, and four strips of washi on each one. We already offer a weekend banner on our date covers. So if you buy the date covers from the weekly listing and then pick up the mini sheet, you end up with two weekend banners. So we did decide to go ahead and do away with that. So let me just go ahead and pull in. This is a new sheet one. And one of the girls in the Facebook group called it out right away and said, these sheets look bigger, they're bigger. There's no upcharge on it. We just pushed the maximum of what we could do on the cutter and what we could fit in our bags and mailers and made it as big as we possibly could. Same cost. So the Awashi strips have moved over here to the left side. We've added um, the most popular doodle icons. We've also added three of the scalloped quarter boxes. You still have your decorative labels. There are now five appointment labels and five basic labels on here for those of you that needed more than like the four was offering on that one. So that is sheet one. Sheet two, get myself organized here, looks like this. So I'm gonna take this first sheet away and get the old sheet so you can compare that. Um, you can also tell that the washi got a little bit longer too to give you a little more room to play with there. So. You still have your four strips of washi. You've got some of the thicker basic labels kind of like this size here. Um, these are a slightly taller appointment label than the ones that were on here. You've got one of these um, appointment boxes. I think this is a half box size if I remember correctly. Um, still have three two tone labels. We have three flags that went down from four, but if you're like me, I pull the um, extra functional sheet from the weekly listing so that I have lots of flags. And then you've got three check boxes, which is a new appearance on that. We got rid of the posty notes that nobody was crazy about. And we also added on seven fork and knife icons for that. And then filled up the little space with some little extra hearts and the arrows that you can use. To, I love to use them if an appointment changes on a day or I run out of room on a certain day and I can kind of put an arrow to where something is supposed to go. Um, and then of course we did lower the amount of scripts that were on there and change them to all black. So I'm just going to pull in this first new sheet. And here is the second sheet as well for you to take a look at. So that is the new mini kit. I'm super excited about this kit. I think they are really gonna be super functional. I had a customer say, I'm afraid that I'm gonna actually buy 
less sheets from you guys. And let me just tell you, it's more important that we have loyalty and are providing you guys things that you like, especially in this like really weird economy time. I know that people are holding their purse strings tighter. I'm holding my purse strings a little bit tighter. So I'm just glad to be able to provide a product for you guys that you can use where you can still be decorative in your planning. Okay, so the final change that we have are for the daily duos starting in July, you guys, if you're a daily duo user or have been around the block, you know that they are now adding a notes page to the end of every week. So that note page will fall after Sunday and before your Monday. And that way your Monday spread always starts on the left. So I think that's pretty cool. I am just sort of a brain dump person. I plan to use these kits when I'm using my daily duo, which is not all of the time. I think they're super fun, but I would probably just end up scribbling notes on them with that extra page. So here is a kit to jazz that up a little bit. This one over here is for the A5 size. So I'm gonna bring this back in here. The way we structured it was to give you a week at a glance that takes up a half a column of the page. This is the A5 size, but this, this pr same principle will apply to the seven by nine. It's just bigger to compensate for the size. So you've got your week at a glance here, just a small little area to jot notes. We put a couple of stars on these sheets so that you can kind of notate things that are important. And then we wanted to be able, for you to be able to customize the second column to be whatever you want it to be. So for me, I would probably track brain dumps. I'm super excited that I am gonna be able to start being active again and lifting things again with my back. So I went ahead and put a workout in there so maybe I can go ahead and start using that. And then maybe just a little to buy. Like I need new hair bands and I keep forgetting to run to the store and pick them up on my way home. So that would be a great little reminder there. So what we did with these is we made this week of an actual sticker instead of printing it on here. My thought was I wanted you guys to really be able to customize these to be exactly what you want. So you could even put no week of and put one of these headers at the top um, and then kind of just use these three washi strips that come on the sheet to even divide it into four little sections. So. That's what that is all about. There is a ton of basic options for you to choose from. We do have a custom listing for headers in our shop. It is made to be slightly larger than these, but if you leave a note from that header listing and let us know that you want them to fit in the Daily Duo notes pages, we'd be happy to go ahead and make that sizing change for you with your custom Order. So if there's something else that will work out better for you than these general prompts, feel free to order that as well. So guys, that is it. I super appreciate you hanging in there to go over all of these changes. We are super excited about them. Also feeling a little twitchy and crazy because of all of the changes, but I'm hoping this will make life a little bit easier on the girls here and myself and you guys come the new year release. So. Anyway, that is it for me today. I cannot wait to see you guys back here again for our next video. Until then, take care.